Look at that too. Woo! Holy cow! make this tripod this uh boom extension camera mount this is the targus tg m p s six seven one zero and you can buy these at walmart for about 15 bucks so i'm going to show you how i made this i'm going to go over the parts and then i'll get, get into the video so uh let's go over the parts here real quick of course you need your boom your your uh selfie stick or whatever you want to call this thing uh, you will need two of these um, which are these brackets right here the scotty rod post the scotty rod holder uh, replacement post those are numbers and all that you need for the for what you need to get uh, you need two of these and uh, what it's going to look like you're going to have one nut on this side you're gonna have these two put together. You're gonna to put push one of them up into the, uh, the the pole here. You'll need one of these screw uh, replacement bolts for the Scotty mounts, and here they are. It comes in a two pack. There's two two in there, so all you need is one pack of those. So you got one pack of those. And I say all you need is one of those, but you'll need two of the uh, of the Scotty rod holder replacement post. You will also need two combination side or deck mounting brackets. Um, if you want to put one on each side of your kayak like I did, um, you'll have to have two of these. So that gives you versatility to go from one side to the other to move your mount. Now on this end, what I did was uh, I took a, a stainless steel threaded quarter by 20 rod and stuck it down in here and put a nut on this side, you'll see in the video, put a nut on this side of it and then and that way I could tighten all this down with this nut here and this nut here, I could tighten that down and then I took, uh, put a nut here to, to so that way I can I can tighten this right here down. This is just a tripod mount. All this, this, this part right here, including the pan fish, but I'll put the part number and where I bought it and all that good stuff in the description below. But all this right here was all one piece. It comes with this, and I think it comes with that right there too. That ball, that ram ball. It comes with. You know just all this right here as one but then I took so I can have some versatility right here I put two of these GoPro joints or whatever I put another tripod mount here and then these right here will actually move I uh, move it from side to side or however to kind of accommodate any kind of off position you might want to you might want to do so there it is now i'm going to get into the video on how i did it thanks guys um today we're going to be making a pole mount for the for the kayak here i'll show you what i've already got i already got one of these mounted in here this is a scotty mount i just got it mounted on here and you got to have two of these on one of them you got to knock this you got to knock this little nut right here out which is no problem at all it's very very simple to come out very easy uh, so don't you know you got to knock that out and what you're going to be left with this is going to slide right up in here like this this is going to slide right up in there just like that i'm going to put some i'm going to Drill that right there out and put some bigger screws in it. So the screws that come with it are very small. I want it to be more sturdy than that. So 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna put some of this epoxy in here, this Gorilla Glue epoxy. I want to you know, glue it up in there real good, put some screws in it, screw it down. And then uh, this right here fit on here just like this. And screw down tight. There you go. And I'm working on the end of this and right here, right now, I'll show you how to do this. I know this place in here is a mess right now and I'm trying to get everything cleaned up, but it's just been, it's just been a whirlwind of stuff going on. And, but what you gotta do is, this thing actually comes like this right here. If you notice, it comes like this right here. And what you, all you gotta do is, all you gotta do is take, and, take a pair of pliers or uh, something and just pull this out for me, it just come out. I just took and grabbed it and yanked it real good and this little piece right here come out. So that right there comes out. And I couldn't get this right here out without drilling it out. There's two little notches, one on this side. I'll take that out and you can see a little better. There's one on this side and there's one on this side in that groove. And I took the smallest bit I had and just barely went down in there till I got down to the plastic and then this little thing right here come right out. So from this point, I'm gonna take, I got, I bought me a, a bolt from, from Lowe's Hardware, a quarter by 20 bolt like this right here. And then I cut it off like this right here. I cut it off, it's about, I don't know, two and a half inches long. Now, what, now I'm gonna do is take this, I put a nut on the end of it, and uh, you can adjust that however but I'm gonna do it just like that right there. And then I'm gonna put epoxy on this right here, take a screw, screw it down in there. It ain't coming out. Uh, I'm gonna do it just like this right here. Mm. Just like that right there and slide that on down in there and it ain't coming out, I can promise you that. Um, I probably screw that down just a little bit more. I don't need quite that much slack. Uh, I bought the Yak Attack Panfish. And I'm going to take this right here and put this on the end of it. Just like this right here. So that's the way it's going to be and i'm sorry guys i've got a mess what i'm going to do is i'm going to take and put a good amount of epoxy get it all over this right here real good because i do not want this right here coming out once i put it in there put a good amount on there I'll put my top back on my epoxy. And what I want is this thing right here to line up straight. Straight as I can with that right there. Which I can turn that right there just a little bit. Alright, so I got that in there. Now what I'm going to do is drill some little bit holes down in this thing. I've got some screws up here, I think, that'll go right down in there. All right, there's one screw down there. That thing is not gonna come out. I'm gonna put one more. I guess I'll put one more on this side. See if I can get one more down in there. All 
There we go. Well done. Now I'm going to do a slide this right here back up. Boom, done. So now I got my, I got my thing here. All ready to go. Tighten it up. There. Yes. That right there is awesome. Now I'm going to put one on the other side so I can switch back and forth if I want to. Alright guys, here it is. There's the mount. Now what I did was a little trick. I got this from uh, Venture Tube. I put the link in to his uh, channel down below. Um, he uh, he had a pretty good idea. Um, with these things, you know, you can turn them where they'll come out. You take a little bit of black tape, electrical tape, and just wrap it around there at the top, around those top, uh, I don't know, gear, gear lugs, or I don't know what you call them things. But anyway, you put them around the top there, just a couple wraps around that, now when you stick this thing in here, it'll go down there and it'll lock, but you can move it now. You can swing that thing all around. If you wanna go this way with it, you know, get you swing it around this way real quick, you know, you can do that. Uh, that's, that's, I got that idea from him. I don't know if I'll leave it like that or not, but that's a pretty good idea. Now I wanna show you how far this thing will will go out. Now if you look, that is way on out there. If you want to take and swing this thing on around, get your shot from way on out there, you can do that. I mean, that's a, that's a good ways. If you want to swing it on around, swing it all around, all the way up back here to the back. You know that's that's a that's a good swing right there. You can get a good, you can get some good panning shots like that right there. Look how far that thing goes out. If you want to make this thing go up, all you gotta do is loosen this up a little bit and just raise it up. You can have it stand straight up if you want to, which is doggone sweet. That's getting on up there. So if you looking down, if I say I got this camera pointing down, that's a pretty cool shot. So then I, I can take, and I can move this thing all the way around. Well, it's hitting my garage door up there, but I can move this thing all the way around, point it back towards me if I want to. There's a lot of versatility in that. And like I said, I can take this thing really quick and easy.
There, it's on this side, locked in. It ain't coming out. It ain't gonna come out. So now, so now I got my unit on this side of the boat instead of the other side. Hi guys, I hope you liked the, the, this video on this Targus uh, pole extender camera mount, whatever you wanna call it. Um, I enjoyed making it for you guys. I appreciate the support. Um, please give me a thumbs up if you will. I'd greatly appreciate it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you're a new viewer, I'd love to have you on this channel. And uh, I hope I'm getting myself here. And guys, y'all take care, and we we'll see you next video. Peace out. Uh, I've had some questions about how I load my kayak. Um, pull a foot or so, set it back down. Getting it a little bit closer. Let's pick it up again using my thigh as support. Then, from the front of my bed all the way to the end of the tailgate is eight foot ten inches. Go down a little further. I got that boy another catfish. That one catfish love this jig. I swan they do. Like, comment, subscribe.